Welcome to The Money Puzzle. I am Brian Ramsey. Across the table from me is Chris Vaughn. We are Family Wealth Planning Partners located right here in Louisville, Kentucky. Hey, Chris, real quick, where's our office again? Uh, it's in Louisville, Kentucky, but it is also at the corner of Shelbyville Road and Hurstbourne Lane. That's right. All right, question of the day, Chris. Do you like pensions? Who doesn't like a pension? Do you like Social Security? Who doesn't like Social Security? What about annuities? Uh, well... That's a little bit different question. Most people think that they don't like annuities. And are they the same thing? They're all the same thing. That's and that's exactly kind right. of the point. Um, an annuity really is just a guaranteed stream of income as long as you live. That's really all it is. So your pension is an annuity. Social Security is an annuity. By definition, these are all effectively the same thing. They work a little bit differently. But what people love about them is you know you're not going to outlove that income stream. Yeah, you can love it or you can live it, right? right? You're not going to outlive that or That's you right. can not outlove it <laughs> either way. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, so uh, so real quick, um, when we talk about annuities, okay, the most important word or phrase around that annuity is not the end of that word. Mm -hmm. It's what precedes the word annuity. Correct, because there's so a lot of different types. And, and, and I don't think most people realize that. They think all annuities are the same thing. They're clearly not. Um, there's, there's so many different types, and you know we talk about this. Uh, there's an example of uh, if you were going to go out and buy a car, right? You're buying a car based upon the way that you're going to drive that car. So uh, you know a Ferrari and a semi truck, they're, they're both vehicles that go down the road, but they clearly serve different purposes. And by the way, neither one of them is good off road, but a Jeep is. So it depends on what you want it to do, which type of car you would want to buy. Annuities are no different than that. So you've got uh, fixed annuities, which are going to pay out a very specific amount of interest. Kind of works a little bit like a CD at the bank, if you will. You know how much you're going to get. You know how long your money's going to be tied up into it. There's fixed indexed annuities, which, if used correctly, are fantastic because you're going to get market participation of some type. Uh, then they're going to have a cap rate or a participation rate or something like that. So you know where you're going to be working based on the index. Uh, but you also know you're not going to lose. So if that index is down, you stay you stay flat on that. So it's a great way of protecting your investment in a bad year. Um, then there's variable annuities, which that that's, it gets into a different thing. And that's one of those things that, unfortunately, variable annuities are where you can lose money, but they have high commission rates. So they tend to be oversold. Uh, and that's where you run into problems with those. But your point is right. It's the word before the word annuity that is the critical thing you need to know. Yeah, so let's start off talking about CDs. Okay. Lots of clients come in. We find out we're talking about, you know, what they've got their money invested in. People say, well, I have money invested in CDs. Why, why do people like CDs so well, much? Well, they like CDs because I can't lose. My money's insured. I mean, those are the, the catchphrases that you hear. Okay, so yes, if you put your money in, the C, in a CD at the bank, it's FDIC insured up to $250,000. The, you know you're going to get a guaranteed rate of return, whatever that is. The, the problem with the CD is you can get guaranteed rates of return in other things that pay better than what a typical CD does at the bank. Uh, and the other issue with a CD is your money is illiquid. You can't access it without penalties for a given period of time. So there, the, the biggest issue that I have with CDs is there are too many other things that work as well or better that are available to you, but that's that's what the banks have to work with. Yeah, sure. So you mentioned CDs mm -hmm. are uh, you know sort of safe, principal protected, yeah. have a steady rate of return. What else does that sound like? Well, it, it's that fixed annuity that we were talking about. You're going to get basically the same type of thing, but instead of a bank backing it up, you're going to have an insurance company backing it up. Well. How good is that insurance company? They are rated just like we get credit scores. Those insurance companies get credit scores. Okay, That's effectively what it is, is that rating. Well, if you've got one that's in good shape, they're going to pay that out. But they're going to pay out a much better rate. Everything else works essentially the same way as a CD, but you're going to make more money on it. Yeah, and in fact, we had a client that came in, uh, I don't know, it's probably been four or five weeks ago now, and she had money at a bank. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, um, it, the CD was coming due and said, oh, well, you know, I don't know how much it was, 75,000 bucks, whatever it was. Um, let's find something to do with it. So we were like, that's great. Come in. We actually called the bank and said, well, okay, this, uh, this uh, CD is coming due. Uh, what is the, what would be the renewal rate? 
and I don't remember what it was, three, it was like three years, three and a quarter percent. Okay, well, that doesn't sound too bad. And so we were like, well, let's see what a fixed annuity uh, for three years, let's see what that pays. And lo and behold, it paid almost 5%. So again, it's the exact same thing. It's still something you invest in, it matures in three years, you get your money plus the, uh, or get your principal plus the interest back, and yet we're picking up almost a point and a half over a bank CD. So mm. it's the exact same result, um, the same type product, it just happens to be an annuity. Now I get it, a lot of people are gonna say, oh, annuities, you know, I don't like them, I'm never gonna do it. Well, we just showed that annuity is basically the same, the same thing, thing as, as, a, as right. a bank CD. Why wouldn't you get, if you have the same amount of risk, uh, if, if the expense, if, if, if you will, were exactly the same, if, if, if you're comparing apples to apples, but you get a much better rate of return on this one as opposed to that one, why wouldn't you go with the first one? That's just, it's just only logical. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, so quickly, let's talk about um, a fixed index annuity. We'll talk about more on the break, but what is um, a fixed index annuity? Well, we talked about this just a minute ago. A fixed indexed annuity is where you are purchasing that annuity product and you're comparing yourself to an index. So the most common ones would be the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ or the Russell 2000, but there are thousands of different indices out there that you can use inside of an FIA. So you purchase the annuity and you say, okay, the index that we're comparing to is worth this amount on this date. Okay, then you have a date in the future, an anniversary date, one year, two year, three year. What does that index do in that window? You don't care what it does every day. You care what it is at that specific point in the future. If it's up, then you're up along with it to a certain point or with a certain participation rate. And that's, you get into the minutia there. Uh, but if it's down, you don't lose anything. And that's, that's the beauty of those is you can't lose on those. And that's, that's really how the FIA works. Yeah, and um, if we do position words, we're gonna talk about yep. it a little bit. We do use them. Absolutely. We um, do. Because it's a great way to protect your principal, mm -hmm. right? All right, so real quickly, Chris, let's walk through um, what our offer is today. So we've got watch, uh, people watching the show right now like, okay, I've got, you know, I've got cash that I want to do something with, or I've never, I've, I've kind of been an annuity hater, but maybe I'm starting to like annuities because I like what you guys are describing. So what is our offer to uh, the listeners or watchers today? Uh, the offer today, just call 844-900-5210 or scan that QR code at the bottom of the page, whichever one you prefer. You're just going to schedule an appointment to come in and meet with us. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over, first of all, all of your questions that you've got. If you've got specific annuity questions, we'll make sure we go into those. We'll get to know each other a little bit. We'll take the retirement plan that you've put together up to this point and we'll do a probability test on it. What is your likelihood of being successful, however you define success? Uh, and then we will give you a written plan. We're gonna take your puzzle and we're gonna start putting it together. And we're gonna put that in writing and show you exactly what needs to be done to be successful. Okay, great. If you are interested in learning more about annuities and how they might fit into your portfolio, give us a call 844-900-5210 and schedule a meeting with Chris. Uh, we will be right back after the break to talk more about how annuities can fit into your portfolio. All right, welcome to Friday the Firm. As always, that's Chris, I'm Brian, that's Eric, and that's Aaron. Uh, this week, I got Penelope. I really like this one. It's a little bit hard to find. We started out as, you know, four guys in four different places with their own individual practices. And we realized that if we banded together, we could do things more efficiently, give the client a uh, much better experience. Uh, and that's how Family Wealth Planning Partners uh, began. Outside of work, we, we love being with our families. We love spending time with our families. We are all family people. How would we want our families treated? That's the way that we want to treat our clients and that's the way we want to interact with them. It's not a handshake relationship. It's very much a hug relationship. The most enjoyable part of our client meetings is the first 15, 20 minutes when we're just talking about family. Uh, we share our lives with our clients and our clients share their lives with us. So our clients come to us for lifestyle preservation. That's what we provide them. How do I maintain my current lifestyle throughout retirement? Well, we're absolutely a planning-centric firm. So everything that we do is rooted around building a comprehensive financial plan for our clients. Our clients are people who are nearing retirement. 
or in retirement. They've done a really good job saving over the course of their career working. They may have a 401k, they may have uh, an annuity, a life insurance policy or something. So they've done a really good job doing things, but they don't know how to make all of those individual things work together. That's where we come in. We call this the money puzzle. Our job is to make sure that we put together those puzzle pieces for you uh, so you have a clear, comprehensive plan of you know, what your retirement is gonna look like. The reason why we do what we do is when clients come to us with a messy puzzle, they sit down with us and say, I've got all my pieces that are everywhere. I want to retire. Help me put my puzzle together. When you bring all those pieces together, that's, that's how you get it into alignment. That's how you bring in that picture into focus. It's like a light bulb goes off in our client's eyes and you can see it. You can visibly see them look at this and say, okay, I get it now. I know how all the pieces of the puzzle come together to complete my financial picture. We're trying to provide a relationship with our clients that they know that no matter what comes up, no matter what life throws at them, they can come to us and we can provide the answers and the recommendations to navigate those waters. All right, welcome back to The Money Puzzle. I am Brian Ramsey. Right across the table from me is Chris Vaughn, and we are part of Family Wealth Planning Partners located right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And today, we're talking about all things kind of uh, principle protected is maybe a way I would say it. Uh, we've talked about annuities. We've talked about um, why people like annuities or why people don't like annuities. Mm -hmm. And the fact that if you don't like annuities and you don't ever want to talk about them, well, you may not like Social Security or pensions because they're all kind of the same thing. And so when we talk about um, Social Security, pension, annuities, it's part of our puzzle, isn't yeah. it? Right, That's we correct. talk about where that puzzle piece sort of fits in. Um, and we go back to what are our main kind of four components of our puzzle mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's taxes, which we did a show on taxes. Right. We talk about that all the time. We look at things like income, which is, I'd say in the box that we're talking about yep, right now. Absolutely. You know, there's risk, um, there's estate work. And so right now we're mainly talking about that sort of income part of, of, your, of your puzzle. And so specifically we're talking about annuities because they are a fit. Now they are the fit for right for every single client. No, but we know they're a good fit yep. in certain situations. So maybe talk about um, let's take oh, let's take a step back. Maybe talk about our risk on proprietary risk on risk off retirement, and describe that, and then come back and describe how annuities might fit into that program. Okay, so our risk on risk off uh, retirement uh, portfolio, the way that we build those out, uh, has to do with when you need the income. So we start with permanent predictable income. So that would be where annuity, income annuities would fit in. That's where social security, pensions, things of that nature go. Uh, and then you have your non-permanent, non-predictable side. So that's more your traditional investments, things that, that will go up and down with markets. They are, they are volatile, if you will. So what we're looking to do is say, okay, starting today, 10 to 15 years worth of income needs to be in our risk offside. Anything that's further out than that, we don't need to touch this money for more than 10 to 15 years. That we can go into risk on and allow that money to continue growing. Uh, there's, there's a misconception that once I'm retired, everything should be very conservative. Well, if you retire at 65 and realistically your life expectancy is gonna take you into your mid to late 80s, you're talking about 20 or more years worth of of time that you've got it, that you're going to be living. If you had 20 years before you're going to touch the money, you'd know you'd be more risky than if you were going to use it tomorrow, right? So that's the reason we've got it divided into that risk on risk off side. Now, the next part, the kind of the art of what we do, we talk about is what do you put into that risk off side? How do we have your money positioned so that it is income? but it's also going to be protected. I don't have to worry about it. And there's a lot of different things out there. And this is where annuities can fit into that. So for example, uh, we talked about having that, that fixed annuity, which works just like a CD, but it pays a whole lot better. That's a great short term thing. I don't need the money today. I may not need it for a year or two, but I'm gonna have a fixed rate of return that's gonna come in on that. And in a year or two, when I do actually need that money to start flowing out, that fixed annuity has now matured and the money comes out greater than what it was. Therefore, we can stretch your money further. Uh, where a fixed indexed annuity, the FIA might fit in is, 
Same concept, but a little bit further out, maybe five, seven, 10 years from now before I'm gonna touch this money. By putting it into that FIA, I know that I'm not going to lose, but I have the ability to get some real serious growth out of that. So that's one of the places where you might position those types of annuities we've been talking about. Notice I didn't say variable annuities because now that would be a risk on asset that just does not work in our model. Yeah, so you mentioned, um, it, we talk a lot about uh, sort of the art behind this risk, this proprietary risk on risk off mm -hmm. uh, modeling we do. And we also talk about the science behind it. Yeah. So maybe spend a second talking about the difference between the two, because it's important to understand when, when folks come in, there's the science behind it, which are the numbers, right? and then there's the art part. So maybe just kind of articulate on that for a minute. Well, so we go back to the science part, and I love to tell people this when I'm teaching this concept in a workshop. And I say, you know what, when you were in high school and you took algebra, you swore you would never use it. Well, right now we're gonna use it, and we're gonna do X minus Y equals Z. So what you do is you take the amount of income that you want. What amount is it gonna to take to maintain that lifestyle that you want? And ultimately, that's what all of this comes down to is maintaining the lifestyle that you want. So how much money does it take to do that month in and month out? Well, we put that number in. Now we subtract from that number the amount of money that's permanent and predictable. So those, those are your, your income annuities and your social securities and your pensions. So that's X minus Y equals Z. Right? Z is the amount of money that has to come out of your more traditional investments in any given year. Right, That's your savings that you've built up. Well, we can then go in and calculate, okay, here's the amount of money that you need this year to come out of those savings. Well, then we need to add a little bit of inflation to those numbers for each year that goes on, and we can calculate with a fair amount of accuracy how much money you're going to need each and every year to come out of your savings. So that's the science behind it. Where the art comes in is, okay, now I've got a position, the money that I need to come out of my savings in such a way that I'm gonna get through that first 10 to 15 years starting today without having any risk on, well, what's the best way to do that? Those things change and that's where the art comes in and they're constantly changing so we're constantly having to work through that and update that as we go. That's where you have to do the study of what's available out there, that's where you have to do the research. Uh, and that's where we can find out the best possible thing to plug into that little window of time to ensure that your lifestyle stays exactly where you want it to stay. And that's the art and the science of it. Yeah, so if you're interested in learning more about the art and the science behind what we do, uh, call the 800 number on your screen, 844-900-5214. You can also uh, take your phone out and click on the QR code right there. It'll take you to a page you're scheduling a meeting. And that's really all you're doing at that point is just scheduling a meeting. Now here's one thing if you uh, schedule, I wanna uh, make two promises to you. It's not something we can use very often in our business when we talk about promises, but I can make you this promise. Number one, you're never gonna get sold anything. Your experience may have been in the past that you've gone to see an advisor and they've tried to sell you an annuity. It's not how we do things. Um, we're gonna get to know you first of all. We're gonna spend the first few minutes getting to understand what it is you wanna accomplish in life. What does your money mean to you? What do you want your money to be able to do for you throughout your lifetime? So that's number one. It also gives you an opportunity to get to know us. Ask us questions about how we, how we feel about annuities, how we position annuities, or you know, how we feel about market volatility, or whatever you want to know about how we feel about things. Uh, ask us. That's your opportunity to get to know us. Number two, the second thing we're going to promise you is a written report. It's going to be prepared by a certified financial planner in our office. That report's going to give you two pieces of information. Number one, it's going to give you a probability of your money surviving you. What's, what's, the, um, what's the probability of you being able to live the lifestyle you want to and have your assets support that lifestyle? Uh, number two is the report is going to provide you a framework around how our proprietary risk on risk off uh, retirement program works. Now, it's kind of like putting a puzzle together. We've talked about this, where it's the framework around that puzzle. It's the corner pieces, the edge pieces. That's effectively what we're gonna provide you. It is a document that you get to walk out of the office with and do whatever you want to with it. Um, but it, again, provides you the framework of how we can help you accomplish whatever it is you're trying to accomplish in your, uh, in your life, so uh, financially. So give us a call, 844-900-5210. Schedule an appointment with us. Uh, we would love to get to know you and how we can start putting your framework around your puzzle. Uh, we'll be right back in just another minute. We're going to continue talking about annuities today.
The work never seems to end until the day it finally does. After nearly a lifetime on the job, you should be rewarded for all the time you spent working. Whether that's crossing off items on your bucket list, learning a new passion, or rekindling the love of an old one. After all, life isn't over when you stop working. It's the start of an all new chapter. The one where you're the writer and you get to choose how your story will go. A way to achieve that is by having a clear financial plan to sustain your golden years. The biggest fear most retirees have is if they'll have enough money to maintain the lifestyle they've always enjoyed. Having a plan to help protect you against the curveballs life often throws will help to maintain your lifestyle. Call today to get your free written financial plan so you may live every day to the fullest and enjoy the retirement of your dreams. All right, welcome back to The Money Puzzle. Again, I'm Brian Ramsey. That's a Chris Vaughn across the table. Hadn't changed. Uh, so we're, again, talking about uh, annuities, but we're talking really about kind of the framework of how we actually use annuities. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when folks come in to see us, Chris, wouldn't you say that a lot of times when folks come in and they say, we go, well, you're invested in a bank CD, you're invested in, right. you know, a fixed annuity or a fixed, annu a fixed index annuity, don't we often hear that maybe market volatility is an issue? Absolutely. And I mean, the volatility of the markets in 2022 is a just a prime example of this, is what drives people towards those types of things because of the safety that they provide. That's why people are inter interested in those. That The biggest issue that we have is what's the purpose of those? Why would you buy that particular product? Um, it goes back to the plan. How, how do you apply these types of things into your plan? Is that the correct thing? Well, you've got to build out that plan first. And that's, unfortunately, we see too many people that they have a lot of tools, but they don't even know what they're trying to build. Yeah, and we often say, uh, I use the analogy quite a bit about uh, the golf club. So oh, why, yeah. don't you, why don't you do that? Because I actually like that analogy. Of course, um, uh, you know, if you if you don't play golf, you might not know that Chris carries 27 clubs in his bag, but you can only allow 14. Right. But maybe talk a quick second about um, how we use that analogy and how we might position it. Yeah, the, the, the golf club analogy is great. It's, you know, yes, you're only allowed 14 in your bag. That's all I carry, I promise. Um, but Brian is a much better golfer than I am, so I need all the help I can get. But it doesn't really matter where you play. Every golf course is unique, and, and you know, even the best of golfers have bad days and even the worst hackers like me have good days. So you'll find yourself using certain clubs very rarely. Um, I don't hit a four iron very often, but I'm going to use my putter on every single hole unless I get really lucky. And that's where the analogy comes in. That four iron is just not a club that you're going to use very often, but I still have it in the bag because I never know when I'm going to need it. Um, certain other clubs I'm going to use a lot but I might not use them you know, as much as I will, the putter or the driver, for example. You need to have all of the clubs in your bag so that you can play the game the best way possible, however it comes at you. And that goes back to the different types of things you use in your financial plan. You know, Certain things are going to be used much more frequently than others. Certain things are very rare. You're just not gonna get that four iron or that five iron out very often. Uh, because it's just not appropriate to. And that's that's where that, that golf analogy comes in. Yeah, so what's interesting, we had a client uh, that had come in, I'm going to say, I don't know, it's maybe a year ago, a year and a half or so ago, and he had gone to dinner seminar, right? I mean, they're right. all over the place. They, you know, when he was a retired guy, he gets a dinner seminar in the Somebody mail. Somebody bought him a steak. Oh, it's, it's just constantly. <laughs> so he went, and um, he had actually gone to two of them. One of them, he actually met with the advisor afterwards and said, okay, well, here's my portfolio. What would you do? What's interesting is that one meeting, this advisor said, well, this is what you should do. And the recommendation was to put basically his entire IRA, which he just retired, his entire IRA into uh, an annuity, actually two of them. But that's kind of like using your putter. You use your putter on every single right. hole, right? Well, it's like having annuity, annuity, you know, this advisor clearly sees that every single client needs an annuity for pretty much, you know, every shot that he makes on course. You know what? In theory, you could use only the putter, but it's not very efficient on the tee box and it's not very good out of the rough. There are different clubs for a reason. And that's exactly the, the, the point of what you're talking about. You know, everything has pros and cons to it. 
but there's a time and a place for each one of those products to be used. And when you go to those types of seminars, unfortunately, that is typically the only answer that you're going to get is you need to buy this specific product, even though it's, you know, the individual case is unique. You have to build it together correctly. Yeah, and it, what, what was interesting in that story is, you know, he came in to see us after he had been to see this right. particular individual. He said, well, one of his very first questions was, well, how do you guys position annuities? And we said, well, let's, let's get to know you first and right. let's understand your particular situation. So we walked him through uh, the onboarding process and we said, well, this is how things look. Mm -hmm. And um, we specifically said, okay, you want to talk about annuities? Let's position, let's talk about how we would position annuities with you. So we discussed our proprietary risk on, uh, risk off retirement plan. And we said, okay, in this risk off bucket, and you were talking about this earlier, um, we said we need to uh, isolate assets that we don't need for three or four or five years. And we showed him how to properly position those assets so that when he needed them, three, four, five years down the road, those would mature, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about fixed annuity specifically. Right. And, um, and then when it matured, it provided the cash needed. Right. Now, the interesting thing was, you know, I think on that one, we were getting, you know, what, five and a quarter percent. Right. And when in our modeling, we only show a 3% rate of return. Well, we were technically getting five and a quarter percent. Right. So we're right now able to get more than what we were, um, you know, even a couple of years ago or, you know, uh, how we even position in the plan. So it actually was very beneficial to him mm -hmm. uh, to do that. So, Chris, what's our offer? We're kind of wrapping up the show here. What's our offer to people that call in right now? So you call in right now, 844-900-5210, or scan that QR code at the bottom of the page if you're more technically savvy than Brian and I are. Uh, and all you're going to do is you're going to schedule a time to come in, meet with us, and we'll talk about these things. We're going to go over all of the questions that you have about annuities or about any other financial products that are out there, but we promise you we're not going to sell you anything. That's not what we want to do. It's not the way we do business. We're going to take the financial puzzle that you've got, the pieces that you have at this point, and we're going to show you how to put those together correctly in the most efficient way. And then we're going to give you a written plan that's going to show you exactly how you can do that, that you can take home with you. And folks, it's free. No obligation whatsoever. Pick up the phone call right now, and we will see you next week on another edition of The Money Puzzle.